Facing off tonight in this one, Smitty. Let me ask you, do you think this is a guard-centric league right now? Kevin, it is. And no matter how tall you are and what position, pretty much 90% of the guys now can dribble, they can pass, they can shoot. We have guys that are seven-footers that we're calling guards. <laughs> so I think right now this is a guard-oriented league. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. Inside of the four and the five, Porzingis and Powell. Curry is out there with Doncic, and it's Hardaway in at the three. And the shot goes in. And how about the vision there from Doncic can make the easy pass and also the difficult one. Conley scanning the floor. Over Doncic. Misses off the left iron. Here's Dallas on the sideline. Let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, earlier I spoke with Quinn Snyder. He knows it will be tough to hold back Kristaps Porzingis, who's hungry to assert himself. They'll have to match his aggression and make him feel them at the defensive end. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Greg, you look at the young Luka Doncic. What impresses you the most right now about his game? Uh, well, Kevin, you just don't see many players his height who can handle and, and make step back threes. Also, his confidence. He came into the league never doubting that he could dominate a game. And don't forget about his brilliance as a passer. And it's Mitchell missing. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And as Dirk Nowitzki walks off into the sunset, the Mavericks seem to have found their next European superstar in Luka Doncic. The number three pick in last year's draft had a rookie season for the ages. Here's what Utah's going with right now. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for O'Neal. Jordan Clarkson comes in for Mitchell. And Emmanuel Moutier subbed in for Mike Conley. Gobert can't hit. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jazz. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Davis has checked in for Utah. And then for Dallas, Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Pazingas. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Luka Doncic. Now here's Cauley Stein following the miss by Emmanuel Moutier. They had been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Jazz trail by 10. Clarkson finds Gobert. And here's Moutier. They could use a bucket. Out of bounds, Dallas will take possession. Yeah, just not on the same page. Unfortunate, wasted possession. Mavericks leading by 10. In the corner, it's Kleba. The pass to Finney Smith. And here's Brunson. He got it up. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks going into the break with a 10-point lead. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Don't go anywhere. One of the better two-way guards in the NBA, Mike Conley said his inspiration. He's one of my favorite players growing up. Um... And you know, Conley, maybe not the size of Peyton, but Greg, he's always taken the challenge defensively. And you can see how much of an influence the glove had on Conley. He plays a lot like him on that end. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen here, guys, from the Mavericks. 
aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. And they have the guys to do it. Play to your strengths, and they can make up for some of your weaknesses. On the court for Dallas here in the second, Jalen Brunson out there with Wright. Then there's Cauley Stein, and it's Finney Smith in at the three, the small forward. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Here's what Utah is going with right now. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Gobert. Royce O'Neal comes in for Joe Ingles. Mitchell, he's checked in for Clarkson. And it's Mike Conley in for Moutier. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Well, there is a lot of optimism in Dallas for the tandem of Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis. Porzingis said, we clicked right away. We're both European players, similar roots, both speak Spanish. That'll translate on the court. We can be something special. Kevin, look out for them to compliment and criticize one another in a different tongue. Yeah, if they play to their potential, they could be scary. Thanks, David. Morea finds Powell. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Jazz trail by 12. And, and Smitty is tough. Oh, oh what, what a play! What a <laughs> I got a feeling Donovan Mitchell will be watching this highlight over and over and over. Here's Berea. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Now, how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. And that's a foul called on J.J. Berea. That is his first foul of the game. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Utah. The Mavericks also with a sub. Luka Doncic, he's checked in for J.J. Berea. O'Neal kicks to Conley. Pass to Mitchell. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Mitchell's got six in the quarter. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Here's Doncic. Yep, that one goes in there. And certainly not lacking in confidence. When Doncic gets these inside looks, he just jumps all over. Here's Conley. Gobert, great positioning on the putback. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second-chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Doncic against Bogdanovich. And Doncic gets it to go. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused, and they've executed Now Conley on the wing, Mitchell. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got his third assist on the night. Here's Doncic. Wow, huge buzzer beater. I did not think he was going to get that off in time. One eye on the rim, one eye on the shot clock. Ending the quarter, the... Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime, so... Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge, to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. Conley runs the point with Mitchell flanking him. Bogdanovich out there with O'Neal. And it's Gobert in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group right now for Utah. Here's Doncic, and the dunk by Doncic. And when you want Doncic, He's one of those guys who kind of just slithers around until he finds an opening, and then bam. Mitchell with it. Now guarded by Porzingis. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. And Smitty for teams that tend to go deep into the playoffs year after year, season after season. It, it, it takes, I'm assuming, a mental toll. Uh, as well as a physical toll. It does, and that mental toll is just as hard as that physical toll on your body and your mind. And I think for teams that have great leadership and development of those young guys that can play some of those minutes, they usually bowl well. The Jazz making a switch here. Moutier is checked in. Pass to Bogdanovich. 
He dishes it to Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. I like Gobert's attack mentality around the rim. You can tell he loves to throw it down. Anjic passes to Powell. The offensive rebound. Even though that one didn't go down, I like the offensive game plan here. Three for four coming out of the break. Doncic against Moutier. Mitchell looking it over. Shot clock at five. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And when you're trying to cut into a lead, you can ill afford mistakes like that. You know what it is. A lack of concentration. That's a momentum killer. Here's what Utah's going with right now. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. And it's Jordan Clarkson in for Royce O'Neal. The wide open look here for Ingles. And Utah, another three. This is what Ingles gives you. Good size in the backcourt. High energy and unbelievable touch from range. Pass to call his time. Here's Finney Smith. Shot, high post. That one off the back iron and out. And it's Moutier with the ball. He brings it up for the Utah Jazz. 11-point game. And it's Mitchell missing. For Dallas, they've gone 3 of 6 in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Cauley Stein finds Brunson. Some nice passing here by Dallas. 27 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Cauley Stein passes to Kleba. That's no good. Couldn't get his first shot to go. Utah's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Stolen by Clarkson. Pulls up for three. And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's Dallas holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Jazz trail by eight. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. On the court for the Mavericks. They've got J.J. Barea. Also, DeLon Wright is out there. And it's Cauley Stein in at the center, locking down the middle. Count it. Here's Barea. Let's go. A shot off that time. And it's Utah the other way. Over in the corner, Conley. Utah gets it back. And Gobert gets to Conley. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Conley. Bogdanovich is checked in for Mitchell. Mavericks leading by six. And Doncic, here we go, and the dunk by Doncic. And, and guys, the intelligence is evident. When, when the pick comes, Doncic often makes the right read. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. It's blocked. Porzingis with the ball. That's good from Doncic on the assist by Porzingis. And it's a 10-point Dallas lead. And it just seems when Doncic turns it on, it's a sight to see. Incredible at scoring in a variety of ways. Conley against Doncic. Gobert. The Mavericks pull it in. Howell's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Left side, Porzingis over Bogdanovich. Porzingis can't hit. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. Conley inside the line. Another miss by Utah. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. And now as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for the Mavericks. What do you think was the deciding factor in this one? 
I think you have to look at their field goal percentage. They just shot the ball much better than the opponent, and, and they were getting great looks all game long. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Luka Doncic. I thought he did a good job of filling out the defense early on. Then once he found his groove, he stayed aggressive throughout. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Jordan Clarkson. The Mavericks have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Here's Doncic. Off target from three-point range. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. Another miss by Utah. Outside Hardaway. Persingas passes to Curry. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. So no problem for Dallas as they get the win. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. KP, you guys got out on a break tonight. How did you get into transition so easily? Uh, yeah, we want to play faster, and that's what we try to do. Whenever they miss, we try to run, move the ball quick, and get it. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us.